Ladies and gentlemen, this is Benedict here again from Yagingan Company as sheets. And today we, we are doing a variance on actual versus budget. So first what we'll do, we'll do the income statement, we'll do the, in, the budget income statement and then we'll do the comparison between the actual and the budget. So let me just take you to my data set so what we have here i have detailed income statement layout for which we, this one we want to use today then i also have my actuals is the same actuals that i use in my previous uh, previous income statement that we call the basic income statement i also have baking ba or rather basic statement layout and the layout is in this format from gross revenue down to, to tax then we also have our date table then we have our budget and uh, we also have a ledger bridge so let me explain a bit about the ledger bridge when you do a budget there are those items of income and revenue rather there are those items that are of revenue and expenditure that you might have in your budget but will not incur them in your actual expenditure or the actual income when you realize so the bridge is just to create a common ground between the actual table and the budget table so again now let me take you to my budget so my budget runs from January 2017 to December 2017 and then Towards my left, we have category, we have index, ledger, sub-ledger, and branch name. And the branches are branches of, or rather, are just company A, B, C, and D. And then we had mentioned earlier that when you key your data into, or rather, when you key data into accounting system, you always have uh, group ledgers and single ledger. So here, our category is the group ledger of the ledger, and ledger is also the group ledger of the sub-ledger. So when we when I click or rather when I I filter on uh, gross revenue, you can see I have various line items from freight sales, express sales, room service sales to phone recharge sales, and then the line the line items also are here as a line now rather line of stock right outbound sales shop and ship inbound domestic and then we have forex revenue then we also have sale of uh, phone recharge cards so in our data table here we, we have rather in our budget as a uh, Data table we, we have values running from January to December 2017 and then we had mentioned earlier when we, when we were doing our first video that when we, when we are loading data into Power BI we need to be having a few number of columns such that it will be much easier to compress data within Power BI. So what we need to do here, we need to unpivot our values here from January to December 2017. So for me, what I can do, I can just click anyway on my on my table. Then uh, I'll click on data menu. Then I'll click from table, which will take me to Power Query Editor. Then from there, I can highlight the the columns that I need to pivot that runs from January to December 2017. Then from here, I can right click on any of the highlighted uh, columns then I'll go down and click on unpivot columns or I can go to transform menu then click on unpivot columns now you can see our data here has been rather the the highlighted columns that we need to unpivot has been reduced to columns so here we have date and the other column we have value so I'll change this attribute to date and I'll also change the the data type to, to date so again from here now we need to click on the home tab then click 
close and load so this is the one of the data tables that we need to load in Power BI together with ledger bridge data and the actual stable but already I've had loaded data into my Power BI so I will not load so what we needed to load to Power BI is actually the actual stable statement basic statement layout date the unpivoted budget and the ledger bridge so let me take you to Power BI desktop so this is already done but i need to show you what how we go how we go through about this so let's assume that let me just create another page and assume that we need to load data into power bi so from here on my blank page here under home tab i'll click on get data and then since my data is uh, coming from excel workbook i'll click on excel workbook then my data set is in this sample actual process budget i click on this then open then this will uh, pop up a list of tables that i need to choose from before i load into power bi so for our case we need to choose actuals we need to choose bridge budget date and layout so this is what I need to load it to Power BI, but today we won't load because already it's loaded into Power BI. So if you check on my right hand side, you can see the actual bridge, date, budget, and layout. So this one is just cancel. So assuming that we've loaded the data into Power BI, now we have the tables there, the facts tables and the data dimension tables. We need to create a relationship between the tables. So I'll just click here on this icon for data model. Then now you can see already the relationship has been created. So when you check between my rather before then uh, we have here two fact tables of which we have the actual and budget table and the dimension tables here we have the layout data and bridge. So between layout and uh, actuals, the relationship has been created within the category column of layout and the actuals. And when you go to date table and the actual table, the relationship has been created between the date column. And then when you move to the bridge and the actuals, the relationship has been created between the ledger column rather the relationship has been created with the, with the ledger column then we move, when we move to the budget we also have a relationship created between the category column and when you go to date it has been created within the date column and again when you move to bridge the relationship has been created between uh, the ledger column of the budget and the bridge now having us assuming now that we've created the relationship now we need to build our visuals so now to build an in we will start first by building our actual income statement then we do the, the budget income statement then now we'll compare the the two to see the variances so i'll just click on my matrix here then I'll go to my basic, uh, rather basic statement layout. I'll drag category into rows. Then I'll go to actuals again, drag the ledger column into rows again. Then I'll drag values, the value column, and then drag it into values. Then I want to do it in, in terms of, uh, rather I want to generate our income statement in terms of Yes, so I'll click on the year column, drag the year column within the date table and put under columns. Then we have our income statement generated from 2017 to 2019. So let me just try to expand a bit on the category so that you can see the details of our income statement.
then from here now we need to do some few cosmetic changes on the matrix so i'll do the title first and then i'll call the title uh, actual income statement actual income statement then i need it to be black and then i'll align it at the center so again i'll also do a border then my title let me just give my title a background of uh, light blue then i'll also do a border on my matrix and to give it uh, 17 px and with a, a pinkish color then i need to change my total down there in my matrix to net income so this is net income and then Sorry. Then again the indentation of my the indentation of the details of the category column and need to increase so I'll go to row headers and uh, increase the step layer indentation to twenty-seven. Then I'll uh, I'll put off the plus minus icon so already we have our income statement. The basic income statement so from here now we can do our our budget uh, income statement so I'll click on this matrix then uh, on my basic layout income statement layout I'll draw category put under rows then I'll go to budget then drag ledger Put under rows again and drag value, put under values. Then we are analyzing terms of years. So I'll, uh, I'll drag year and put under columns. So because our budget was uh, running from January to December 2017, so our comparison will be between. Uh, will be based on year 2017 for the actuals and the budget so let me just copy the formatting in this actual income statement and paint on the budget so this is our budget income statement so let me just do the title for the same the title here I'll do budget income statement then again the Again, the total down there I'll change to I'll change to net income. Then let me also increase the the row padding. So I'll go to grid. Then I'll increase this one to I think recording two of two is better. I'll copy the, the formatting here and paint on the actual income statement. So we need to compare. 2017 of the actual and 2017 of the budget so I'll do a slider just to 
well, the slicer to for the years to select 2017 so I'll click on this slicer then I'll drag uh, within my table drag here put under the field but then again I need it in a list for in list format So this one I'll drag and put down here. So when I click on 2017, you can see, or rather now you can see our actual income statement of the budget. The comparison will only be in 2017, the year 2017. So again, let us now do the the comparison so when you check on my right hand side on the under the fields i have uh, some few measures so the measures i did what were the values for the values for the actuals and the values for the budget and how to do the variance so when you click on the values you can see the you can see the calculation that I did when you click on the budget also you can see the calculation that I did the same on the variance with just the, the subtraction of the budget values from the actual values so here we can do our comparison so I'll create another matrix then now I'll use the bridge so I'll drag a trigger put and a rows I'll also drag the ledge and put under rows. In the values I'll pick from my measures. I'll drag actual values. Put on values. I'll drag uh, budget value values put here. I'll drag the budget as well, the variance as well. I'll put under values down. The, let me just now expand on the category so that you can see the details so here i will change the, the total down there into net income so let me just go to subtotals and change this to net income So this is our net income. Then now I'll do also a title. I'll do actual versus budget. Then I'll paint the formatting here for my budget to the comparison matrix. So here ladies and gentlemen we did uh, we've done our comparison of the budget and the actual so it was at, uh, as simple as that you just do the, the budget and uh, create a bridge and do some few measures then now we can do the comparison so this is as good as for today so if you've learned something please uh, share your comments or you can also give an advice and then again i'm asking you to subscribe to my channel so that we can move together the little that we learn within power bi will be sharing on my channel so that we can learn together so my next video will be based on the detailed income statement Uh, that is in this format so this one will be having a calculated rows calculated rows they always do so ladies and gentlemen let's stop at, at that for today because my son here is disturbing a lot so let's stop at that we'll do another video on detailed income statement <laughs>